All right, it's Python on Hardware time. Blinka, blinka, blinka. We are nearly ready any moment, any second, to release CircuitPython 6. We're just squishing those bugs. Just yeah. Crushing them. Um, if you want to see a bunch of CircuitPython uh, demos and more in action, the latest Adabox. Uh, the video's up. I won't ruin it if you didn't see it, but lots of surprises. JP did an amazing job with it, and uh, you can check that out. So here's some highlights from Adafruit Daily. This is our newsletter. Um, you go to adafruitdaily.com and you sign up for Python on hardware. Okay. And uh, we have o over 8,000 subscribers. I think this is the most popular Python on hardware newsletter. That's um, because it's free. There's no ads, and it's no just ads. A lovely, we, yeah, it's we don't ever experience. we don't ever use your email address for anything. In fact, it's always good to mention the reason why we have a separate site called adafruitdaily.com is that way you never have to worry about your store account with Adafruit. Never gets used for anything other than the store account. That's, That's right. why we did separate things Adafruit Daily, so that no one could say I signed up for something on. Uh, here and then someone email here, not even possible. So things that are going on, there's a VS code for the CircuitPython workflow. Yes, um, extension, yeah. a plugin. Yeah, includes library manager, serial console, and autocomplete. Uh, I worked on a M2 form factor uh, GitHub repo. There's a good discussion over there. We're not sure if we're going to do one, and if we do, what standard. Um, there's like, uh, everyone kind of did their own thing yeah. right now. But it was good to have all this information in one yeah. place. Yeah, so we, we, that's the, you know, I put on journalism hat for a second. And I said, well, what I would want is to see all the ones that are out there, all the pinouts, and then hear from the users, what do they want to do with it? And then from the module makers, the people even like us, mm -hmm. or like, what do you want to see in a potential new form factor? Mm -hmm. um, because we had success with Feather, so what could we bring to the table if there's another form factor to do? Um, open Hardware Month wrap-up. Um, this is uh, Open Hardware Month. You can check out the weather report. We submitted more open hardware, and there's an API now. Yeah. So about 40% cool. of the certified open source hardware is from us. So uh, get some cred for you know bringing uh, a woman-owned company into an industry manufacturing technology that normally wasn't associated with it. Now it's just normal. Um, now, I'm fo now I'm sure folks are just like, oh man, look at all this Adafruit stuff. Um, Microsoft and Netflix teamed up. I thought this was kind of neat. They, uh, there's a new Netflix original show called Over the Moon. And Microsoft is launching new modules, learning modules with them, so they can complete things like data science, uh, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. And, of course, they're using Python. So I think this is just like yet another example of every single time there is something interesting and educational for kids, uh, what can you do with it, and what language are you going to use? And it's Python, and that's why it's really important to us, especially for the Python and Hardware newsletter and all the things that we do. A lot of young people are learning uh, a programming language. I was talking to someone today, and they said, oh, yeah, my daughter is in ninth grade, and she's learning programming. And I said, is it Python? And he goes, oh, yeah, that's what it is. And he, he said, how do you know? And I'm just like, well, it's a guess, because that's what the, it's, the, yeah. the, the language that everyone's learning. So you could take that Python knowledge and then put that on a microcontroller. So you're an electronics engineer if you know Python right now. What I really like about this is that there have been other movies that we've been contacted by, and they were just like, well, we want to promote this movie, but we don't actually want to have any real science or engineering. They were like, oh, can we just like figure out how to fake it? And yeah. what's cool is that this is like this seems like really intense. There's like Vision and, and VS Code and, and Python Pandas library, so it's like, you're doing like real math and science, like, and this is very realistic. You're yeah. going to be taking data, making a prediction, and then testing that prediction. The, That's what people do with data science. Yeah, just like a side note to so the funny story, sort of. The the folks who did Ant Man reached out to us and they said we want to do we want to celebrate women in tech for Ant Man, and we said it's Ant Man. It's Ant Man. So they're like, yeah, yeah, but like, is that a big deal? And so, you know, basically they, they end up not doing the, the campaign, um, but, you know, Ant-Man. Anywho, um, so I'm happy to see this over the moon thing. Uh, hand sanitizer, use counter, this is kind of neat. Um, this is a teacher who set up a uh, matrix portal, and um, it shows if they uh, sanitize their hand, and you want to beat yesterday's. Uh, goal and average. Yay! So. Good use of uh, Circuit Python and the new uh, Matrix Portal yeah. library and board. Um, Scott does deep dives each week. You'll see this on Friday, and then uh, he also looked at the M2 connectors and ePaper. Yes. Um, I thought this was neat. Radomir is doing this really cool um, flat, like a keyboard low, pro thing, low yeah. yeah, low uh, profile display keyboard. Um, Radomir stuff is always delightful. Uh, Liz at Blitz City interviews Thea Flowers and Winterbloom, lots of CircuitPython hardware and more. You can see the synth stuff that Thea's been working on. Um, this is some neat little um, projects that you can do with the Cutie Pie. 
uh, Todd Mott was doing this. Also, there's an article on Make about all the different things you can do. Um, here's a birthday wish box. That oh, I, I love saw. that laser cut. Yeah, so I made nice. it with an itsy bitsy and NeoPixel and CircuitPython. And um, again, more stuff for Python, machine learning for accounting with Python. So every single time um, someone wants to do something, Python is usually a way to do it, and it's a pretty popular way. Some stuff that we have uh, coming out soon, some new learn guides. Libraries, we are up to 276. Oh, i got to write some more libraries so I can get up to Let's 300. get up to 300, yeah. I want to celebrate. And uh, a couple other things, Practical Guide to Python. That's an upcoming uh, event called for Philly. Uh, free workshop. Uh, Oktoberfest is going on. Python Brazil 2020. That's cool. It's Hackaday, like yeah, Hackaday. Um, Remoticon's like next weekend, right? Yeah, 6th cool. and 8th of November, PyCon Sweden. Um, our coverage stats, you can always post up your skills or look for a job on jobs.adafruit.com. Join us over on Discord, all 25,000 of us right now. There's about 4,335 people hanging out, chatting and sharing things. And in case you missed it, we have all these videos and the Code Academy courses are available and more. And that is all the news that's fit to slink. Slither. Yeah. All right. Another great week in Python news.